guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry and if you're new here, I am a workout, fashion, lifestyle channel. I do workouts every single Wednesday, which is today. If you are here on a Wednesday, you are just in time for this workout. I have a really great workout for you guys today. It is only arms and back and shoulders focused, but it's all just from here on up. So you don't even need weights. So we're gonna get right into it. All you need is your arms and let's just get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with both arms together like this and you're just gonna pump up and up and up. But all the while you are going to be pressing your arms together. You wanna create that resistance in order to feel the burn. You're gonna feel it right in here. You're also gonna feel it with, throughout your arm. So you're just gonna pump up and up. Try not to go down too low or up. I mean, if you can get up high, that's great. That's the goal. But you're just going to want to go up, up, and up, up. Great job. A few more. You're going to feel the burn. I promise it is whew, craziness. All right. Relax them out. Roll your shoulders out. We are off to a great start. Tabletop the arms. You don't want them to droop down. You don't want your shoulders to come up either. You just want a nice plane going on here. And we're just going to take it back, back. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Another killer. I feel like I'm still feeling the burn from just that last move. Great job. And you will feel this tomorrow, I promise you. But you know what? That can only mean that you're going to see results over time. So yeah, just push it back in pulse motions, pinching the shoulder blades together. A few more here. Keep those shoulders down. go back into that same tabletop position. This time we're going to go up, up, rotating between each side. And don't let them drop each time you go to another side. Try to keep them on that same plane as if they were just resting on a table. Just pick it up, up, up. Great job. These are not supposed to be easy. And it's crazy because you wouldn't think just doing arm movements like this, that it would be that tough, but it honestly is. We are sculpting the arms, the shoulders too. Great job, couple more. And down, and let's just shrug out the shoulder, loose out the neck, be careful, don't overdo it, but let's just give it a nice little Pull on each side, stretch it out. A quick stretch, just arms overhead. Other side. Stretching is key to this. All right, we're gonna do some arm circles here. Circle it out, we want them to just be like medium sized circles, nothing too big, but not too small. Keep the, uh, the hands relaxed. You don't have to have them in a tight fist or anything. And circle, circle, circle. All right, and we're gonna go back the other way. Great job, everybody. So we're going to do something similar to what we first did starting out. Um, we're going to do pulse up and out. Bring it together up and out. Now 
Remember to keep the shoulders down. We don't want them creeping up into our neck. Keep that tension in the arms, which is where we want to focus all that work. You don't want other places to do the work and take away from what you're trying to work on. A couple more. These are killer. They're all killer. I won't lie. They're all killers. Add on. Overhead. Out. Up. In. Overhead. Out. Up. In. Oops. It's easy to get mixed up, but that's good because it also keeps your mind active. You have to focus on what you're doing as well so you don't mess up the move. All right, and bring it down and stretch it out. Let's just shake it out. Shake out any tension you're holding on to. All right, and we're just gonna do some nice stretching. So this is getting the torso involved. We're elongating. Imagine there's a string pulling your head higher, lengthening that spine. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. That's not good for anybody. My arms feel like lead right now. Whew. And great job. Inhale, exhale. One more. Oxygen never hurt anybody. Okay, now we're going to just do little pulsing actions with our arms stretched out behind us. And we're just gonna pulse. Keep that resistance there. Imagine you're in a pool or something and there's water around you and you're just feeling that resistance. Also, don't forget to keep your core engaged too. Don't just let it flop around. You gotta make other areas work too. They're not getting a day off. Great job. And we're just gonna do some curling motions as if you did have weights, but we don't have weights. You're just using your forearms. You wanna keep them back as far as you can, but don't let them come out like this. Try to keep them close in to your body. Keep your shoulders down. Great job. And now we're gonna be doing some overhead pull downs. And then we're just gonna turn the waist too. So, two. more. Great job. Shake it out, shake it out. You can face forward and we're just going to have the arms out like this, like you're holding two trays in both of your hands. And we're just going to pulse in, but what you want to do is make sure that your shoulder blades are coming together. So this is a great back sculpting exercise. And that's the thing, these aren't just toning your arms, it's toning your back. And obviously we're keeping our core tight too, so it's obviously including more than one area of your body, which is great. Keep the motions quick, but keep that bend in your arm. You want that tension in there. You want them to be working, not taking a break, not taking a day off. and stretch it out. Your arms are going to be close to your head like this. And you're just going to take your arms up and down just like this. Try to keep your elbows in.
and bring them down by your side. Okay, we're gonna have our arms up like this. We look like a crazy scarecrow. And you're just gonna go up, up, and try to place your arms down in the same spot where they began. It's a small motion, but I'm telling you, it's doing big things. We're toning it up, we're feeling the burn. Small motions can create huge results. Over time, you do these more and more, you're gonna notice some awesome toning in your arms and in your back, and your chest too. We're working that whole area. So yeah, a couple more. I hope these are some moves that you guys haven't thought of before. I love expanding people's areas of workouts because we can get into, you know, a little slump and we just don't know how to change it up. So it's a great way to change up a boring workout that you're totally used to. I'm starting to feel the burn. Burn it out. A few more. The feeling of that burn is good. That means you're exhausting the muscle. You want some tearing to happen because you want it to build. Alright, and bring it down. And we're just going to do a couple of stretches. So bring one arm over and just clasp it in with the other one. Give a nice tug, not too much. And other side. Just give the nice, give this arm a nice little push. Really feel that stretch. Other side. While this arm is here, keep it up. And we're just going to connect fingers if you can. Pull on them. Really good stretch here. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm linking two fingers together. And do that on the other side. Okay, you just want to interlock your fingers here and just pull down. Feel your shoulders coming apart. But your shoulder blades come together and we're just going to do the same thing forward pulling the shoulder shoulder blades apart feel that nice stretch and lean forward a little bit and release one last stretch reach 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 overhead give some nice big inhale exhales while we're here Feel a nice stretch in here too. Oh, that's so good. Release all the tension from the day. Final exhale. Great job, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. I hope it was different, something uh, that you don't usually do on a typical basis, but maybe now you're going to start. Um, yeah, we gotta get these arms in shape, ladies. Summer is basically here, um, so we're wearing a lot less sleeves and showing a lot more arms, so we want to make sure we look good, we just want to feel good too. That's the important part, is that you feel good about yourself and we're getting healthy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, that really helps me out. Subscribe before you leave so you don't miss a video. I post workouts every single Wednesday, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And yeah, until I see you guys in my next video, bye!